Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello again and welcome. In today's video it's going to be a very quick one with a couple of screw cutting tips. Oh no I can hear you say not more screw cutting videos. I guarantee this first tip uh, when you find out about it you wished you'd known about it years ago. So let's join me over here with the lathe and I'll demonstrate it to you. Join me. Now what you're seeing here is a typical screw kit screw cutting setup, you know, with your compound set to 29 and a half or 30 degrees, whatever, whatever is your preference. And um, usually when you're cutting a thread of course it is is knowing how much you've got to um, advance the compound to get the uh, correct depth of cut. I mean obviously you can do calculations and, and things for it to get that figure but I'm just now going to show you um, a dead simple way of doing it. So so first off is is, is that uh, um, you set your uh, compound dial to zero you then, I can't show you the tool at the moment because unfortunately this camera hasn't got zoom or anything at the moment um, then uh, wind the cross slide in until your tool um, touches the part then zero out your um, cross slide. Back away your compound several several turns to, that you're clear. Then, then knowing what your depth of cut is, I mean, say for argument, it's it's fifty thou. So you 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 advance your compound at fifty thou, and then re-zero it. And what you have now in effect is is that um, when you're actually screw cutting, when this reaches. When this is this always remains on zero for your um, resetting point. When your compound um, slide dial reaches zero, um, you should be at the um, theoretical um, correct thread depth. And obviously, you can you can try it. You know, do your usual. Um, you know, keep trying it until, until the part fits. So um, I hope you found that of. Uh, of great interest and I bet you're going to say God I wish I'd known that years ago I mean it's so simple you just don't need you, you, you don't need any calculations um, the dolls are doing it for you so uh, I hope that's uh, of, of interest and I will now speak of another project uh, not project another problem often encountered now this little uh, bit of information I'm now going to impart is, is, is what was um, you know, talk to me 50 odd years ago and said and I, and I, and I see people on YouTube and, and, they, and they don't uh, you know they, they, they don't seem to buy it now as I say the the um, the, the reason for um, having your compound uh, set at an angle is so that when you decide so it's only the the, uh, the leading edge here of the of the uh, threading tool is doing all the work otherwise you know if, if, if it was plunged in um, Full full form. Of course, it's, you know there's, there's a hell of a lot of strain on on the um, on the tool. But of course, but the problem that comes up, and I'll, and I'll stick a, a drawing in here just just to illustrate. Um, in effect, is is um, uh, something to point with. Here we are. Right. Um, obviously, you know this this edge of the of the, of the thread is, is fine because that is that is formed by the the honed edge of, of, of your screw cutting tool. But the other side. Is uh, is very, uh, I'd say wobbly. It's got got ridges on it because because these are the advances of the tool. So each time you know you wind it in twenty thou, whatever it is, you know for your for your depth of cut. Of course, is is that is that you've now ended up with that. Now what I was always taught was was that uh, just as you're you know you're trying your part, the nut is just starting to go on. You think right, don't do any more with your um, compound. Advance your cross slide, say. A sow, whatever it is, so, so that when the tool comes along, it'll actually it'll clean that up because because your your tool is ground to 55 or 60. You know, it, it, it's a form tool, so you know, plunge it in. Well, it's plunge it in, but I mean, you know, do a, do a cut or two um, with the with the full depth of the tool, and of course, and it'll nicely clean that up. Um, I mean, it's particularly it would be particularly um, advantageous for you know say you've cut an acme thread um you know you, you certainly want the you want to you want a, a smooth place on both sides otherwise if you're making a lead screw or a nut of course you know it would, it would feel nice in one direction may feel nice in the other but eventually of course um you know those ridges are going to wear off and of course you're going to end up with with um a lot of backlash so um 
you know that's that's another thing that's that's well worth considering now this final bit of information is um you know i consider most important and, and I, I don't see it done on on youtube please please make spring cuts i've watched videos on there and people go oh you know the, the journey oh yeah it's nearly 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 fitting you know let's let's put a bit more on do spring cuts i mean do, do, i mean the part and 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 the tool you'll be surprised how much that you can that you can uh, take off with a spring pass you know several you know don't just say oh i'll just do one if need be two or three you know until until it's until it's uh you know there's no spring in at all and then and in that way you you end up with a with a with a much better job i watched a youtube video only last week and and, and the guy there was was straight cutting and he said oh yes yes it's uh you know he, he took a pass now a bit more took a pass a bit more oh yeah we're nearly there i think i'll take one more well he took another pass and, and yeah, it, it was a reasonable fit. But if he'd if he'd have done several spring passes, probably two cuts back, it it, it would have it would have fitted perfectly. So as I say, it's it's it. I don't know. I mean, it's, it, it's is it time saving or not? I don't know. But uh, you know, I I certainly do spring cuts. It's the same with boring. You know, I mean, never never um, you know I'll. You know, I'm boring a hole to size. Okay, oh, we have another tenth hour to go, sort of thing. Well, you know, do a couple of spring cuts first, and then recheck it. And you think, oh, blimey, good job I've done a spring cut. I need in an ease eighth hour off now. So as I say, spring cuts. I mean, you you'll be surprised. You think these tools are nice and solid, but uh, you know, some of them are as if they're made out of rubber. So as I say, spring cuts. So there we are. Hopefully, that's a uh, couple of tips that you've picked up. Um, thanks by the way for all the new subscribers, I mean that, that's really picked up over the last week, very much appreciated. So I say once again, um, thanks for watching, please subscribe, ring the bell, click the likes, send me a comment, and uh, until we meet on another video, uh, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, well and happy, and catch you next time. Bye! <laughs> That's all, folks.